Hello and welcome back to the channel. Capstone Station construction has picked up again, so we are back in Richmond to cover the Richmond Branch Canada Line bus shuttles. This is similar to the operations seen in January, which saw buses making stops at all Canada Line stations between Big House and Bridgeport. If you like transit related content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Let's begin. Now I provide a more in-depth rundown of Capstone Station on my Canada Line infill stations video. But for the sake of context, let's just do a quick summary. Construction for a station at Capstone Way at number 3 Road began earlier this year. Provisions for this station were made during the design phase of the Canada Line. After collecting $30 million from developers, the City of Richmond and TransLink began construction on the new station this year. The first round of closures saw service reduced to every 17 minutes on the Richmond branch of the Canada Line. Throughout two of the four weeks it was scheduled. So what I'm saying here is that the work actually finished early. Anyways, while that was happening, service at the airport reached every 4 minutes. So you had trains running from waterfront to the airport and the standalone shuttle from Brighouse to Bridgeport supplemented by slightly slower street level bus service. This round of alternate service sees evening reductions after 6pm on weekdays until the 29th of April, followed by weekend reductions until June 5 on Saturdays and Sundays. I'll just pull a graph on the screen to show what time everything lasts until. But basically, operations and frequency looks to be similar to January, with trains in both directions on the Richmond branch remaining at every 17 minutes. If you recall number 3 road on Saturdays, this might be a mess. Looking at construction patterns, it looks like this might not be the last time this operation will be performed. Now onto the ride review. This trip was taken on a Wednesday evening at the tail end of the evening rush. We boarded an articulated bus from the designated bus bridge stop at Bay 1 at Brighouse Station. Buses leave every 15 minutes but by the time this is uploaded, they will be coming every 10 minutes at all the designated bus bridge stops on the Richmond branch of the Canada Line. Looking at the route, the bus bridge is essentially an express to route number 4033 road, or as some bus spotters will call it, the reincarnation of the 98B line. Nothing much goes on while we're on board, so I'll just do my thoughts on the shuttle while we're riding. I think people will always have a preference to ride the train. Simply put, I think people would rather wait 17 minutes to travel 3-5 to five minutes to their destination rather than spending 10-15 to 15 minutes riding a bus shuttle. The lack of an exact schedule or real-time information is also a deterrent. On the Canada Line, you have an assurance that service will be provided unlike the bus shuttles. That said, there are a couple advantages to taking the bus shuttles. With the bus shuttles, you don't have to deal with escalators and fare gates since these run at street level. Also, they aren't too busy, at least on this trip. So despite delays being caused by construction, riders will have the choice to wait for a quicker train or a quiet bus. Now this bus shuttle service raises a few points. First is that number 3 road in Richmond becomes a parking lot on Saturdays, and this may deter riders from taking the shuttles and overcrowding onto the trains. The main road through the city centre is clogged with people driving to errands which causes deviation on the intervals of the shuttle service. Another point about the shuttle service is something I alluded to earlier. Essentially, this is an express to Route 403. Some may point out that this shuttle operation is essentially a duplication of the existing route, but I get why TransLink would not want to confuse this and the existing 403 service. In fact, this operation reminds me of a time in 2015 where a section of the expo line between Main Street and Broadway had to be closed off for weekend track maintenance. Essentially, the articulated bus shuttles ran empty while people overcrowded onto the hindered Expo Line service. So overall, there isn't much going on with these bus shuttles other than providing an opportunity to see articulated buses going down number 3 road aside from the odd trip on the 403 or 410. We arrive at Bridgeport Station around 20 minutes after leaving Brighouse Station. This was largely due to numerous traffic lights on number 3 road. At Bridgeport Station, the bus leaves from Bay 3 which is the same as the 403. Here's an estimate of our schedule this evening for where we stopped. Now, nothing much is happening this evening, but that's gonna change with the opening of the popular night market set for the last Friday of April. So those heading from Richmond Center to the night market should be aware of these delays. This alternate operation should be resolved by the time you get out of the night market, so you should be fine.
Now, I won't really be summarizing this topic into major points, but all I'm going to say is analyze your options when you take transit in Richmond for these next few weekends. I'm anticipating Capstan Station as well, but we have to understand that this crucial work needs to be done, and that means causing a bit of delay to daytime operations. If I were to choose, however, I'd go with just waiting it out on the Canada Line, simply because there's no driver waiting for instructions from communications. Anyways, this is my overview of the alternate operation on the Canada Line for the Capstan Station construction. Again, please anticipate additional rounds of construction and alternate Canada Line operations like the one we just went over. What's it like taking buses on number 3 road on weekends? Do you wish the old 98B line busway returned? Leave your thoughts in the comments and I will see you in the next one.